Newton does 10 joules of work and exhausts 40 joules of waste heat during each cycle. What is the engine's thermal efficiency? And then part B says, if the cold reservoir temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, what is the minimum possible temperature in degrees Celsius of the hot reservoir? Okay, so they tell us that work is equal to 10 joules, 10 joules, and they tell us it exhausts 40 joules of waste heat during each cycle. So that is Q, C is 40 joules. So we know that work is equal to QH minus QC. And so to figure out the th engine's thermal efficiency, we're going to need to use the equation E is equal to work over QH, but we don't know QH, so we're going to use this to solve for it. So if we add over QC, QH is equal to work plus QC. So when we plug in our numbers, QH is equal to 10 joules plus QC is 40 joules, so QH is 50 joules. So now let's figure out the engine's efficiency. So E is equal to work, which they say is 10 joules, over QH, which they s we figured out is 50 joules. So that gives us 1 over 5, or 0 0.2, or an energy efficiency of 20%. OK, so now let's go on to part B. So if the cold reservoir temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, what is the minimum possible temperature in degrees Celsius of the hot reservoir? So let's scroll down a little bit. What we're going to use is the theoretical maximum equation. So E max is equal to 1 minus Tc over Th. So when we use this with the E max of the actual efficiency that we get, that will give us the minimum possible temperature of Th. So now we need to isolate TH in this case. So let's add over, or excuse me, minus over one. So E max, I'm just gonna leave it as E. So E minus one is equal to a negative TC over TH. And now we are gonna times both sides by TH. So that gives us TH times E minus 1 gives us a negative TC. Now we'll divide both sides of the equation by E minus 1. So now rewriting it over here, TH is equal to a negative TC over E minus 1. So when we plug in our values, they tell us that the cold temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. So 30 plus 273 is 303. So a negative 303 Kelvin over our efficiency of 20%, so 0 0.2 minus 1. So now if you notice, we have a negative divided by a negative. So that gives us negative 303 Kelvin divided by a negative 0.2 gives us 378.75 Kelvin. But they want it in degrees Celsius, so we'll minus 273 from that. So now the temperature, minimum possible hot temperature for the hot reservoir can be 105.75 degrees Celsius.